so there is what's left this afternoon of finals day at the Onyx Open Japan 2013. Of course, you were with us right from the start. The very disappointing news that Zhu Chen withdrew from the mixed doubles final with partner Ma Jin giving a walkover to the Olympic champions. So we've only actually contested one final so far. What a good match it was too. Li Chong Wei of Malaysia winning his fourth Japan Open title, breaking the hearts of the home fans. But the home fans will celebrate the next match because they are guaranteed the champion. It is an all Japanese women's singles final. Following the women's singles, we'll have the women's doubles and the number one seeds, Ma Jin and Tang Chi Hua, up against the European champions from Denmark, Christina Peterson and Camilla Aruta Yul. Well, as far as the road to Malaysia is concerned with the women's singles, the current standings for the Super Series list, you can see Sayina Nawal at number one, which is number one without reaching a final so far in any Super Series tournament. Well, of course, two Japanese players on that list, the top ten, and it's only the top eight who will qualify for the Super Series finals in Malaysia at the end of the year. But neither of the players on that list are contesting today's final, although it is all Japanese affair. Well, women's singles has thrown up surprises a new star in the world of badminton. The qualifier, the 16-year-old Akane Yamaguchi. In only her second ever Super Series Hello. event, she played the Japan Open last year, lost in the last 32, having qualified. Now, a year later in the final. There she is, the 16-year-old superstar. Her opponent, Shizuka Chida. Chida, of course, at the beginning of the week, thought she was going to play in the qualifying draw two, but due to a draw from the main draw, she got promoted into the first round. And there you can see the progression and just look at that five players from Japan in the women's singles quarter-final. Akane Yamaguchi. Akane Yamaguchi here in Japan. Uchida Shizuka Uchida representing Japan. Shizuka Uchida. New Zealand. The umpire is Richard Brownlee from New Zealand. Service judge is Teo Kenju, Malaysia. And the service judge is Teo Kenju from Malaysia. Well, this officially the 32nd staging of the Japan Open. The first ever Japan Open that I played in. 1981, but as I was saying earlier, no mixed doubles discipline and therefore wasn't regarded as the first official Japan Open, which of course, certainly for the Super Series now, and tournaments in general, all five disciplines have to be contested and with no mixed doubles in 1981, it wasn't the first Japan Open. So the women's doubles was won by a Japanese pair in one of course the of Targo, who we've just Seven. seen in the men's singles. Now there you can see only one previous meeting in international badminton. That was the semi-final of this year's Osaka International. Won of course by the 16-year-old. Well, the first ever title guaranteed for a home player. See Yamaguchi in the qualifying at the start of the week. 145, in fact, down four places from last week's ranking. 
only two tournaments so far this year. She reached the final of both the Osaka, as I've just mentioned, and the New Zealand International. As you can see, this final today will be her seventh match this week. It was taken the full distance by another qualifier who came through to the main draw in the first round of the tournament proper. 16 years of age, as I say, whereas her opponent, 24 years of age. She, too, not seeded, but didn't have to play in the qualifying event because she thought she was initially going to have to. She, too, is down in the world ranking, down three places to 104. She has been as high as 40, though, in the world ranking. And you can see in the very first round, she was given a walkover by the newly crowned world champion. Rachanok Intonon still struggling with a back injury and therefore retired before the tournament began. But look at her result in the semi final yesterday against the three time former champion here, Wang Han. Beat her in two straight games, 21 17, 21 14. I can tell you she was 12 1 up in the second game, having won the first. Uchida absolutely destroyed the former world champion and Olympic silver medalist. Now, this, of course, for Uchida is only her fourth match this week in comparison to her opponent playing her seventh match. Richard Bramley from New Zealand is our umpire, and Tao Kiang Ju from Malaysia, our service judge. Neutrality ensured at all OSIM BWF World Super Series events for final stages. The match officials come from all corners of the globe to officiate at this elite tier of tournament. Well, Yamaguchi, the 16-year-old, yesterday in her semi-final, beat the defending champion, Tai Su Ying of Taipei. I can tell you she was 13-19 down in the opening game, then 17-20 down, so she had to save game points. In fact, she saved a total of six game points before winning the opening game, 26-24 on the second, 21-14. Three hours... Exactly, this lady has been on court, Uchida. And as far as this one is concerned, Yamaguchi on court for three hours, 44 minutes. So not all that much difference, despite the fact that Yamaguchi has had to play three more matches than her opponent. And on this Japan. moment, Japanese fans have waited a long, long time for. the 16-year-old Akane Yamaguchi. It's this women's singles final underway against the 24-year-old Shizuka Chieda. Well, a good start by the youngster, of course. Pretty young, you tend to play without fear, without the burden of expectation. For Uchida, of course, she's appearing in her third international tournament final. And of course, her first ever Super Series final. That's the case for both of them, obviously. International two finals, as I say, Russian Grand Prix last year. Oh. 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 
sake. The way so that Chida played two. the semi-final yesterday against the former champion was so impressive. She's such a hard worker on court. She was saying afterwards how much she's really worked on her stamina and her skills. But it was all coming together. All the hard work was beginning to pay off in her style of play. Over. Three. One. Yeah, good judgment. court and then playing the straight net shot. Junior Championships last year here in Japan, Shiba. Lost out in the final to another Japanese player, Kukara. He's struggling to come back from injury at the moment. in Nanjing, in China, playing with Anoru Koga. series title not the youngest ever finalist because that honor goes to Tai Su Ying reached the final of the Singapore Super Series event as a qualifier Sixteen on finals day. Seven, three. Won this title that she became the youngest ever winner of a Super Series title at 18 years, three months, and three days. That record, of course, was broken by a Rachanov Intonov, which won the India Super Series earlier this year. Over. 18 years, two months, and 23 days. Four. 
record books could be rewritten today by this young lady. Worker on court is Uchida. players back up squad Luck, Good straight smash, followed in, look for the straight block return. Oh, just seven minutes this match has been in duration. Shoji Sato, Yamaguchi's coach. was a world-class singles player, Soji Sato, winner of 14 career singles titles, and seven men's doubles as well, Six. incidentally. Play. the creativity to see an opportunity when one didn't appear to exist. opening game Yamaguchi had smashed straight and rushed forward for the straight block that time defending the shuttle lifting it to the back of the court Oh, 
Fuji. And that's good early judgment, or whether she wasn't really in a position to have played that. Athletes, some debate as to whether she's 1 meter 55 or whether she's grown to 1 meter 56. But either way, it's under 5 foot 2. So if you can outmaneuver her. The big question is if. Because when she's playing winning shots like that, it's over. Uh, 50. Make her work in the first place. Hasn't oh. Must be a slight sideways drift in the arena. Best at the Japan Open for Uchida was a quarter final back in 2010, making her fifth appearance at her home event. And she's struggling to deal with the deception. This young lady. points away from the opening game. waited 32 years for a first ever title at this event it should be highly celebrated but of course the atmosphere just a little bit flat because the fans don't know which of the two players to cheer for it's over. game point opportunities for Yamaguchi Game point, 14. Very good defence. Which 
Kira. Had to guess. She guessed right. This time, second time of asking. 16 year old. Yeah, confirmation. Nakane Yamaguchi. 21 15. 16 minutes of play. Here's the final point of game number one the block from Uchida. weren't getting involved We're chanting now I'm quite sure which of the two players they're supporting history on more than one account. only the level of skill for a 16 year old but also her tactical awareness that ability to know when to play the right shot at the right time that usually comes with years and years of experience she seems to have that uncanny ability to see angles and shots and read the pattern of play against Paul Titburana Prasatsuk, who reached the final of the China Masters last week. She dropped the opening game there before coming through, and then in the quarterfinal against the number seven seed, Matsumi Dani, dropped the opening game there as well before coming through in three games. So she's a player, and then keeps fighting.
perfect. to read the game. Got a racket and herself in the right place at the right time. is throwing at her. Uchida here, commanding the rallies much, much more than she did in the opening game, dictating the pace. real little timeout we've had apart from the official timeouts in between games and halfway through games that players don't hang about and it's nice to see. Oh, that's extraordinary. How did she get herself out of trouble there? Seven, eight. Instinctive play. Lightning quick reactions. Close the four point deficit. It's all level. And eight all. And indeed, is the lead. Final. 
attacking play. as well as the single point hangs on this next rally. It's going to be who can hold their nerve. No doubt the older player, Luchida, will have more realisation of the importance of this match and the significance. She will see it as her perhaps one and only Wait opportunity. Seconds. To take a super serious title. I hope that's not the case, but Yamaguchi, at 16 years of age, she's obviously going to be sent to more and more tournaments around the world. Machida isn't even in the national squad, from what I understand. for the winner. She really is so deceptive. Very, very difficult for her opponents.
recovered by Yamaguchi. Still at high school. Well, certainly has a bright future in badminton, that's for certain. the nearer she gets to actually creating history as the youngest ever Super Series winner and also the first ever home player to win a title at the Japan Open where the, the nerves will eventually start to show but at the moment there's certainly no sign oh. even 12 months on and this young lady on the verge of creating history oh. two tantalizing points from the title 19. in it. out. Dear, dear me. Well, it's not the first time this week we've had a line calls that we've had the privilege of being able to see it again that have happened at crucial stages. And of course, in the semi-final yesterday, Yamaguchi was the beneficiary of the umpire overcalling, overruling a line judge on game point opportunity for Tai Su Ying. There's been no overall today. Sadly, I think the line judge got that wrong. 
but no overall. It means that there are two match point opportunities. Open Japan since the first official event some 32 years ago. It's been a long, long wait for Japanese fans, and finally, they have a champion. Uh, Kane Yamaguchi, well, the beneficiary of a bad call in both her semi final and final, but that's sadly is the way sport goes sometimes but let's not take anything away from her because she's played quite brilliantly all week and for one so young to have such skills and such court awareness it really is something to behold well let's spare a thought for this young lady shizuka chida who takes leave of center stage beaten in today's final
semi-finalist number four seed Wang Yihan from China, three times a former champion. She won here in 2008, 2009, 2011 for Uchida. Well, first ever Super Series tournament final, as indeed it was for this young lady, Akane Yamaguchi in only her third tournament this year, reached her third final. And for the first time in her young career, she is the champion. And she's done it in a big one, a Super Series title. First ever by a home player in, in Japan. Well, she knows what it's like to stand on top of the podium here in Japan. She's done it three times previously. The second place medal is presented by Ms. Noriko Nakayama on behalf of the Nippon Badminton Association. Well, she must be bitterly disappointed to lose today's final, but she's done herself proud this week in Tokyo. The prize money of 7,600 US dollars is presented by Mr. Ben Yoneyama, the president of Yonex. Mr. Ben Yoneyama, president of Yonex presents the runners-up check. Now there's Dad taking uh, video pictures of this proud moment when his daughter receives the trophy at the Yonex Open Japan 2013. The youngest ever Super Series winner, the first ever player from the host nation to win a title here at the Japan Open. The winner's prize of 15,000 US dollars is presented by Mr. Ben Yonea, the 